Hello everyone. Today we'll be talking about computer vision. How to use computer and uh, read data from a camera and allow the computer to see objects, recognize objects and do other things. We're not going to do all this today for sure. But what we'll do, we'll do one thing. How to detect motion on a video and highlight that motion. That has application in health science, security and many things as you imagine. First, I will show you the end result and then we will go through it and understand how that was created and then you can create your own application. Here's the code. There are only 16 lines here. If you remove those lines in between, the result is only 16 lines. And those 16 lines, we will go through them one by one. But let's first see a live uh, code running from this application. So I'll go here and run it. Now, what it will do, it will show me on the screen. It will show my image on the screen. This is me after being analyzed uh, by, by the code. But if you move this around, you see the original. On the original, I'm more quiet, uh, I'm just joking, it's the same. But, but this one is the original streaming and this one, the one went through the process, through the code and you can see it detecting motion and this white and uh, bright part uh, comes there. If I stand static like this, it slowly goes to like a background, so it's not uh, detecting me any, anymore because I'm not moving because the bars behind me the wall the things are static and I am moving so basically the code will extract my movement from the static background uh, be behind behind me so how we do that let's go back stop this one first and then go to the presentation and we'll try to explain it using this presentation so basically, I'm using a library called OpenCV, which does the hard work for me. This is why I'm using only 16 lines of code, because the library is basically doing, doing the work for me. And it's in Python, because we are nowadays excited about Python. OK. So what we will learn, there are three things you will learn. We'll understand first what computer vision means. I think you're getting a sense into that. I'm not going to spend that much time on it. This is a large su subject, but I'm just giving you a snapshot of it. So you can go and explore it yourself and do more of that. The next thing, we need to read live stream from a camera or from a video recorded. Already we have it on our computer and we want to do some analysis or investigation on that video. So you can also do that. And then how we remove the background or in fact, extract the, the motion or foreground from the static background so we can separate the two uh, from each other. And then how we display the original frames or videos and the new frames or videos that we are using. So what is computer vision? It's again computer vision has, has that uh, objective of allowing the machines to have human capability in terms of detecting objects, uh, uh, detecting motions, uh, recognizing uh, objects and faces, and doing other things like we human do. And in the future, maybe the computer will be able to do it much better than what we do. And that's the way things is, is moving. So that's it's a science that deal, deal with that uh, uh, part. And then, Focusing on the process, which starting from extracting um, uh, the data or the information that we need from, from the video or from that image, doing some analysis in it and try to understand uh, uh, how, you, uh, how useful that information and then uh, uh, do something about it. Uh, we can do that for a single image or sequence of images, which again, videos are example of sequence of images. 
you can read more about it from from this website and there's so many articles and uh, research in that site the library we're using called OpenCV OpenCV can be used with many languages not only Python but Python is amazing in terms of uh, readability of the code and uh, uh, how short uh, you, you could that you produce to produce the same functionality for sure it has a disadvantage of it's not that fast as uh, C language and other languages would, as, as the end product but when you do the prototyping is faster than those languages because there is no need to compile the code and, and run it by the end product you have to find a way to convert it to a binary system but it's a great language so let's see what does it do this open CV again it's a library that has so many functionalities to do many things related to videos images and vision uh, side of it. it started by Intel uh, Intel created this one then spread and became a widely used open source uh, technology it supports advanced deep learning uh, frameworks and other uh, methodologies which we're not going to talk about it today but you can read about it more in terms of applications very wide applications the list is endless I can say uh, and uh, these are some of uh, areas that you can use with uh, 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 open uh, CV starting from augmented reality uh, 3d 2d uh, toolkit uh, going to human computer interaction motion understanding object identification and so many so what we'll do today back we will do those three steps which we kept saying we will read we will create and we will display so here is the code which we have and the first thing you need to connect to open cv and to do that you have this line import uh, cv2 now that will connect you to the to the library and then you can start using the functions algorithms everything from from that library i have one more line here on the top which import numpy as in b numpy is a new numerical analysis uh, package another one or library that can do many things related to numbers but in this application i don't need it i kept it there because i created a little bit more advanced application and then I deleted the extra thing now I have this one remaining but if you delete it from the code your code will still work with no, with no issue uh, we're importing it but we're doing nothing uh, with it the next thing we need now to start reading the streaming video or reading static uh, images or reading uh, from uh, a file that we already have on our computer and this magic line will do that so you create an object you call it video you call it anything you like the most important these are the two things using the library cv2 which we already imported and then we're using a function called video caption uh, python is a case sensitive and you need to stay case, case sensitive putting one here means you're reading a live streaming if you're reading from um, a file which already on your computer then you need to change that line to this to be video.cv2 video capture and instead of one you just put the file name for example if the file name is cars.mb4 your low line of code will be like that cars.mb4 important to put the extension of, of the file and this way you reading from the file now you read that one so your video streaming coming and stored in video and it's stored as frames yeah and in, in, in your video next thing you need to adjust your video maybe your video is too big so you want to make it manageable the size is small on the screen it comes in a small window that you can manage and here we're using video watch this one dot set and three here for the width 
I'm four for the height. So adjusting the width to 640, the height to 480. This step is optional. You can ignore it and leave the video as it is if you would like to do that. The next one is the algorithm now that will extract for us the motion from the static uh, background. And for that, we're using this function. So we're creating a new object. We call it get foreground background. And we're using our uh, library, uh, OpenCV, which we use it here as a CV too. And then we're using this algorithm. This algorithm basically does that. Subtract the background and extract the foreground from the background. There are many other algorithms. You will find it in OpenCV library that does similar thing. Uh, you can look at it and see the differences, advantage, disadvantage, and application of that. But, but this step of extracting the foreground from the background is an important step in, in your analysis of, of the video, which done by basically that single line and half a line somewhere there uh, later. Now, the algorithm called Gaussian mixture based background for ground segmentation algorithm. Uh, we're not going to cover that, but again, you can read about it. Hopefully in the future, we'll come back and look at all those different algorithms that can be used and the applications and differences when you use this one, you use that one. But for the purpose of this video, it's giving you just a snapshot of that. Um, you just uh, understand this is the line you need and that's the algorithm that you can use basically with so many applications and so many different files uh, format. Now once you have this, you you created that object. Now you need to keep the videos running on the screen. So we have a loop here, that while loop and continues running, running some until something happened, which you here in this case we will see that either the video ended or, or the camera disconnected or the user forced it to close by using control C uh, and then the loop will continue. So that's the while loop. Now the next thing we need to grab now the video is frames taking frame by frame frame take the first frame grab it decode it from whatever recording it is and, re and return it to uh, send it to the next line of process and then focus on the next frame that process of taking frame uh, decoding it and going to the next frame, going to the next frame, done by this line. So basically this line, read the video, and read one frame from that video, and store it in the variable frame. So that frame now can be used in the next step. And the next step will be applying that algorithm on the frame. So you got the frame now to apply the algorithm of extracting the motion from the background. So it comes here in this line. So this line basically use this object, which we have it here. Yeah. And does apply to that frame, which coming from here. So frame came from here, goes here. The, we apply that algorithm on it. And then we produce a new frame. Video masks, basically the new the new frame, the frame with uh, motion being extracted from, from the video. Okay, So these are the new frame that been been created. Now the next thing, we have our original frame. We have the frame that we did mask and extract the motion from. So we can then, what we do, we can just display. Here, this one will display the original, which frame as it is with nothing. And this one display video mask, which this one. So first one will display this as it is the original. This one will display this one, which being uh, subject to the algorithm of uh, foreground uh, background. Now we have our frames running on the screen. The loop will continue, will continue, will continue, will never end unless you force it to end. And here, 
these three lines basically allow the user to use control C to break uh, the code and stop it like I will do in a few minutes and you saw me doing at the beginning or the video ends uh, because of the camera being disconnected or or, uh, or the video is just uh, was recorded and the recording has has completed okay and that's it now the last thing once you the user do control C or the video ended you need to release the video from the memory and then you need to close the window that display uh, the video so that basically uh, the example let's look at the code again at how when we run it again we we'll run it now so it's coming the two videos this is me uh, like a ghost and this is me uh, as I look like now so these are the two videos now if I go there and do control C it will break too now let's go to the video here and look at the video uh, the code sorry this is the code assume I want to look at another file I have a file which already on my computer cocars.mp4 which I have it in the same uh, project file let me see my project file this is my project file and here I have one file called cars.mp4 if I run it you will see it's a street with cars coming in and uh, on the screen the camera keep moving so causing uh, some issue but this is the original video and now if I use this one and uh, save it and go and run the code I will get uh, both now this is the one being masked and the other one you can see it in the background and you see now it's detecting only the cars now when the camera moved a little bit up became a new movement happening there but if the camera stays as it is you will see only those cars moving and the train on the other side now it's ended because the video uh, being been completed I think I have another file there which I you getting the idea which I just recorded from the window of my home for the street that we are there it's a long uh, 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 video it's not a long video it's a long angle video you can call that and it's just for the street I'll show you the video first before jumping into that and it's basically um, this is where uh, I live that's uh, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed road and there are trucks moving and there is one person here I think he will be doing something by moving uh, fixing his old truck yeah so that one if I change this one to that and save it and go and run here you will see the new um, video coming uh, and you see the cars are moving and this guy here doing doing something on, on uh, when he moves his head or something you see something and the cars are moving in the background now I'm not uh, static with my camera I'm just little shaking the camera this is why it looks like that so this is basically what it is uh, the code is there I will uh, see where I can upload it and add it to the link and I hope you find this video useful thank you for listening and hope to see you next time